What's up guys, Devin here, and today I want to talk to you about slow motion. Slow Yep, everyone loves slow motion, and uh, why wouldn't they? It's cool, it, you're able to slow down and manipulate time itself, kind of. Hopefully we won't be tearing any holes in time and space today. We're going to be using a feature in Premiere Pro, and it's also available in Final Cut as well, called Optical Flow. What this will allow you to do is manipulate and slow down footage beyond its normal slow motion. So if you film in a higher frame rate, say 60 frames per second, 120 or 240, you should already be able to slow that footage down, but this will allow you to be able to slow that down even further. So let's hop onto the computer and let's give it a try. All right, so we are in Premiere Pro, and what you want to do, or what I recommend, go ahead and either scroll to the end of your sequence or start off with a fresh sequence. That way it's just clean and easy for you to work with these clips in because it does do a couple things that could throw you off if this is the first time that you're trying this. So the next tip that I want to share is go ahead and conform your footage to the same frame rate as your timeline that you are working in. So I'm working in a 23.976 timeline. This was shot at 120 frames per second, but I'm gonna go ahead and conform it to that. So that way it's already slowed down and the frames are all matched up, clean and easy. And you'll see what that does here. It's already slowed down to 120 frames, playing back at 23 frames per second, if that makes sense. So the next step in this process is you actually wanna pick out the clip that you wanna use in your edit. So I don't really care about all this time here and that would maybe be not as interesting to the viewer. I want to get to the action. So as you can see, I've already kind of picked it out, but you just press I to start the clip, maybe watch it through. And then press O when you want it to finish. And there's your clip. So from there, you, I don't need the audio from this. If you do, you can just grab this whole screen and it'll bring audio and video down. But I just need the video clip, so I'm gonna drag this little film here and drag it to my timeline. So once you have this in your timeline, and depending on what frame rate that you shot it in, this is already slowed down pretty decently. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by pressing plus on my timeline here, so I can have a little bit more control to my clip. So from here, I'm going to find the clip where she's all the way at the peak of the jump, so from here, you want to pick out the section that you actually want to make super slow-mo. And what I would recommend is a segment where there's not a whole lot of movement. So at the peak of her jump, it already looks like she kind of floats up there anyway. If there's a lot of motion and a lot of texture in the clip that you are wanting to slow down, it may or may not work the way that you're hoping it to, and you may come out with a couple weird things going on. But this clip looks good right here, so I'm going to back up about right to there. I'm going to press C now and then I'm going to drag my cursor right to the timeline and just click. And then I'm going to go forward about three clicks there. I still have my cut tool up so I'm good. I'm just going to click and then I'm going to click V to select and I'm going to bring that that clip up because this is where it's going to get crazy. Ready to have some fun? Let's do it. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to speed duration and I'm going to slow this down to about 10%. That should be good. I'm gonna slide this one over, match everything back up, slide this back down, and I'm gonna right click again and say time interpolation, optical flow, sequence, render selection. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so I think that looks good. Let's play the whole clip back. Go back to the beginning here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty awesome. So there's a few things that you have to remember when you use this feature. And one of those things I like to point out is it works the best that I've found if you have a clean or clear type background. So that could be a nice blue sky. If you have textures, whether it be water or trees or different things like that, say you're filming a wakeboarder, surfer, skateboarder, and if even the movement across their own body can kind of warp and look weird and create different artifacts that 
you don't want it kind of gives away the fact that we are faking this and editing so if you can find clips where your athlete or whatever you're slowing down to super slow motion is almost in a state where they're not moving much maybe holding a pose or holding a grab or holding a poke or something like that then that's going to be the sweet spot where you can really really emphasize slow motion if they're moving and their arms are crossing in front of them you're going to get weird artifacts that you don't really want to look at and sometimes it actually does look like you're cutting a hole in the space-time continuum and we you may not want that so try to avoid those shots and the same thing can happen again if you have different textures whether it be water or trees or something like that let's try another one so this one it's gonna be a little bit different. We've got texture, we've got water, filling the frame a little bit more. So let's see how this one works out. So let's watch it, find a part where I think it looks good. I think right in there, he's right above the trees and since he's grabbing, there's not a lot of motion from his body going on. Since we've got such a small window where he's basically still anyway, so it's gonna be about one frame. So let's go here to there. And let's raise it up, let's right click. Let's say speed duration, let's go to 1%. Man, that's already really long, but let's see what it looks like. So, time interpolation, optical flow, that one already rendered out for us. Yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. All right, guys, well, that is it. Not too bad, not too hard, and pretty fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go film some slow motion. Have some fun with it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.